Let's be honest, there's not just one answer to this question. What someone going into an aircraft business needs to know is entirely different to what someone starting a restaurant needs to know. That said, we're talking about more than industry-specific knowledge. We're talking about lessons that hundreds of entrepreneurs had to learn before achieving success. Rather than let you figure it out as you go or scour the internet looking for answers, we've turned to the experts for a few words of wisdom. The Entrepreneur Personality Entrepreneurs see the world and their place in it differently from people who choose to become managers or employees. As a whole, they don't care about appearing as agreeable people as much as others do, and they demonstrate lower degrees of neuroticism. They demonstrate higher degrees of conscientiousness and innovation in their work, and they have a higher need for achievement. Some people take great comfort in knowing when they have to start work, knowing precisely what they need to do each day, and when they can go home and be with their families. This makes a 9 to 5 job perfect for them, but not so perfect for someone who wants to start a business. Entrepreneurs crave new challenges and are happy to forego regular schedules for new opportunities to engage with the world in novel ways and acquire new life experiences. Another major part of the entrepreneurial personality is the amount of personal control they feel they have over their lives. They are not keen on blaming challenges on their background, environmental factors or luck. As the adage goes, entrepreneurs tend to believe that the harder you work, the luckier you get. Starting a small business is no small decision. But despite the countless sacrifices and challenges small business owners face, an overwhelming 84% of small business owners would do it all over again. If you're thinking about taking the plunge and starting a business of your own, there are some key steps you need to take first. These tips spring from what I see successful entrepreneurs do and what I see those who come up short not do. Ensure there is a demand for your product or service. Entrepreneurship requires working harder and learning more about yourself than you can imagine. It has lucrative rewards but no guarantees. When things get intense, you're running out of cash, and you want to quit, remember that sales may not cure all issues, but you can't cure the issues without sales. Companies that thrive focus on being consistently profitable, so they can withstand unforeseen events like economic downturns. Before you start a business, do your research, know your numbers, and be certain there's a market and demand for your product or service. Every sale should be profitable, ideally by 50%. Then you'll have money to hire A-list players so you can focus on the work you want to do. Document everything and build systems as you go, so anyone could do your job tomorrow. But first, learn how to sell. No you won't get it right the first time. Don't well in information gathering mode. The only way to progress is to actually do it, take action immediately. Then you must be quick on your feet, analyze the results, and make changes if needed. You're probably not going to get it right the first time, or even the second or third. But if you're nimble, you can pivot. Avoid heavy overhead. Look for ways to make cash quickly and get paid up front. The more cash you have, the more you're able to take calculated risks, which you need to do. You can't have an upside without a downside. Invest in yourself and have confidence that you will deliver. When you fail consider it feedback. Each time you test a theory in the real world, you'll get feedback that shows you how to improve. The only way you'll actually fail is if you give up. Be patient and make sure you have adequate funding. Anyone starting a new business should fully understand the timeline and funding needed to survive the startup phase. I wish I had understood how long it would take to get to a revenue level that would allow my business to thrive and grow. Nearly half of all small businesses that fail didn't have adequate funding. Plan on it taking longer than expected to generate a profit and make sure you have a backup funding source. Every startup's timeline to profitability is different and failure is always a possibility. But if you have adequate funding, you dramatically reduce the chances of failure. Forget about what you want to sell. Many entrepreneurs focus so much on marketing and selling that they neglect to deeply understand exactly what their clients want to achieve or solve. Profitable companies know their customers better than they know themselves. They sell the value, impact, and results their customers want to buy. Become a student of the game. Don't wing it or assume you already know the answers. Plan a listening campaign to understand your target audience's problems and dreams. 
It's never too late to pivot, expand, or adjust what you sell to exactly what your clients desire and demand. When you do that, you become that rare company whose products don't need to be sold, they're just bought. Listen to your customers. Traditional thinking will tell you to start everything with a business plan and the product. But when we started the Boutique Hub, I learned the hard way that identifying the minimum viable product, MVP, implementing, and getting immediate customer feedback were most important. In our first iteration, I started with a plan and a product that made sense to me, but it didn't fit the market. It nearly killed the business. I started over and hustled to find what our customers really needed. Then I offered it, even without the right pricing, details, or layout. I did it for little to no cost, just to learn from them. Once we had a product market fit, we added the details necessary to grow. Always remember, your customer decides if your business is going to work, not your business plan. Test your market first, then go in. Look for a mentor or advisor. Starting a business should not be an independent journey, no matter how tempting that sounds. Finding those who have made this journey before can help set you up for success. Network with other professionals in your industry, attend industry-specific workshops and events, and reach out to thought leaders in your industry to learn their approach. Alternatively, you may want to consider hiring a coach who can give you pointed advice. What's your motivation for starting a business? Here's how to find and sustain your drive for business ownership. Flexibility, control and legacy are common entrepreneurial motivations. Being in the right headspace helps you maintain your entrepreneurial motivation when challenges arise. A positive attitude, meditation and a strong support system can help you sustain your enthusiasm for running your business. At the base of every business is the ardor and dedication of an entrepreneur with a goal. Working for yourself is an incredible feat that can be extremely challenging. Many resolutions rest on your shoulders, like the structure of your business, company culture, and even whether your company continues to run. It's a lot for one person to carry, and sometimes running a business feels overwhelming. It's not always disorganization or a lack of cash flow that brings a company to its knees. Enthusiasm can be short-lived, and a negative attitude is a silent killer. As our emotions shift, it can be hard to keep that passion for your business steady, especially when new challenges come along. Fortunately, there are many ways to manage and sustain your motivation so you don't burn out. Why is motivation important for an entrepreneur? Motivation is important for an entrepreneur for the same reason fuel is important for a plane. Nothing gets off the ground without it. A business isn't always booming with profit or celebrating achievements. Completing mundane or difficult tasks is a daily necessity, and it's your ambition that will push you through it to keep striving for your goals. Successful entrepreneurs are rarely motivated solely by money. Successful entrepreneurs achieve wealth because they believe in what they are doing and inject personal core values into how they build a business. Wealth is their reward, not their god. Having a true sense of pride and belief in your own company and products will convey in everything you do. Your passion and confidence will get other people customers and investors excited about the business and you will have an easier time establishing your business's credibility. If your only goal is to make as much money off other people as fast as you can, eventually you will make business decisions for the wrong reasons and ultimately hurt your reputation and growth potential. Once you know what motivates you to take this bold step of starting a business, you're ready to make difficult decisions and push through challenges. You are anchored. You have a foundation. Knowing your motivation gives you clarity and you will be less likely to lose your focus, get pulled off track, and forget why you embarked on this journey in the first place. When you understand your motivation and use it, you will have the confidence it takes to make the decisions you need to make when starting your business and see the process through to success. Let passion be your fuel, not your foundation. Entrepreneurship is not an easy road. There will be tough challenging days that test your commitment. But it's possible. Bootstrapping is truly a viable way to bring your idea to life. If you want to be an entrepreneur, I'm guessing that you also crave freedom. That's why those hustle hard messages are so powerful. The potential for freedom and control can be intoxicating. So think carefully before you let someone else chart your path. Funding rarely comes without a whole lot of strings attached. Are you willing to surrender your freedom to people who want lightning fast profits? Do you want to risk everything, including your relationships and your well-being? Sacrificing yourself for a dream might inspire a great Hollywood film 
but not necessarily a rich and rewarding life. Your life matters most. Start slow and grow into your dream. If you enjoyed this video and you are ready to start your business, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.